how you raise your van. That's the front's done anyway. Next time we're going to do the backs. Jed. So we've seen Jed lift the front of his van using some spacers from Henning at Synchro Services. Next weekend I'm going to look at lifting the back of my van slightly. The, uh, it's a Westphalia like Jed's and you find, if you're, if you're a Westie owner you'll know that all the furniture is down one side, uh, including the water tank. And once you put all your stuff in it, fill the fridge up, fill the tank up all the way, you really get a bit of a, a kind of Westy lean on. So what I'm going to look at is lifting it slightly and trying to level out that lean so it, it's a bit flatter. I'm just going to pop outside and, uh, and measure up. So I've pinched the tape from my wife's sewing drawer, I'm just going to measure up. I'm going to measure from the hub to the wheel arch and then compare either side. We're on the off side here. So I'm going to go from the centre of the hub to the bottom of the wheel arch. I'm getting that at 488 millimetres. Now, round on the near side, I'll measure up again. We have 476 millimetres. Oh, and here's Jed to help. How oh, very kind. Uh, what a friend is for. So I've been onto eBay, did a search for nylon sheet. They came in all different widths, and I managed to get some which was 8mm, sorry, depth, not width, 8mm depth. And I bought a piece big enough. What I'm going to do is make three spaces, put two together on one side to give 16 and one on the other, and that should level out the lean. So for this job we need two 19mm spanners and a 19mm ratchet and socket if you have one. So we're going to take the wheel off to, uh, to make it nice and easy to see what you're doing. But you can actually do this uh, with the wheel on if you can get enough lift on the van. So first job is to crack the wheel nuts off. The nuts off now and I'll pop the bolt through. That's out. That leaves the shock hanging so that when we jack the van up the rear swing arm can just hang down giving us access to get the spring out. The synchro jack that came with the van and what I like to do is put a nice block of wood underneath it that makes it a little less work when we've got a lift or the winding and also gives us some extra height so we can get the, uh, the axle stand underneath. <laughs> Bitch. Thanks to the bitch. tea, Mike. My pleasure. That's it, wheel off. So, axle stand under. Let's pop the spring out, tiny bit of weight on the arm. Out it comes. Just pop the top off here. I already have a, a small spacer on there. On top of the spring on every van there's a rubber section that the tail sits in. Um, the spacer goes on top of that. You can, we're making the spacers from, like Jake said earlier, the nylon sheeting, which is on eBay for seven, 15 quid delivered. 15 English pounds delivered. Uh, you can buy the spacers from um, Synchro well, Services, uh, Synchronous Scotland. Scotland. Um, Go Westy will probably do Go them. Westy probably do a couple of places in the States, didn't they? Yeah, it's up to you. We were making them because we're cheap. While Jake's just cleaning off the rear trailing arm of all the grime that's been on there, I'm just going to use a spacer to use as a template to mark out for the new um, spacers. <laughs> Good tip while jigsawing, I always find that if you uh, get your tongue and do that, it goes around a little bit easier. Watch. So, there's the one we just cut out. You can see. And there's 
the spring locator from the van. So there we have my original spacer, our new homemade DIY spacer, and the original one that came on the van. I put all three together, put them up onto the spring locator. I should just squeeze up in there. You can see that sits in there nicely. Got my spring here. Pop it up in the centre there. Now this is where we need a little bit of brute force. Put it right on there. Springs back in now. You saw Jake's big boot come in there and help persuade it in place. Just twist it around so the uh, pigtail's lined up where it needs to be. And that's it. We're ready to uh, put this all back together and lower it back down. Going to go back up to the van so we can put the wheel back on. So the wheel's back on now. Bolt it up. I'm going to lower down onto it, and you'll see behind there, as I start to lower, the weight of the van on the wheel lifts the arm up into place. There we go, and we're in place. Nut on, tie up nice and tight, and uh, that's it, job done once we've loaded the van. So we've put the, uh, put the offside back together, the wheels on. It's uh, down on the ground. I'm now gonna measure and see what kind of height we've got so we can compare it to the other side when we're done. So we are on, make sure that's in the center. We are on about 506 millimeters. I'm gonna do the same again on the near side, but you've seen the other side, so we'll, we'll just give you a little quick video of it. We've uh, finished the near side, which took probably about seven or eight minutes as we weren't filming. There were two of us on the job. So I'm just going to measure up now. The centre up to the top. And we now have, make sure that's there, we now have 506 millimetres. So I'm really happy with that. We've got double spaces on that side, one on that side, and it's now exactly the same height on both sides. So for £15 to get my van level and raise slightly, that's a really good morning's work. Thanks for tuning into Camper Van Culture. Watch out for our, our next video where we're going away with some friends um, to Wales to do some off-roading and some camping.